Oh, so under those you can dodge. And I came back here. That's okay, take a left. Well, not sure what it is then. That's how I unlock fast travel points. Damn, why did you have to make it so complicated? Why, Terry? Where such as these come only once in a lifetime? Try not to s drown in snow. Point synchronized. That's the drop off point. If I caught him anywhere near my water. Ooh. Shiny box.
That was ridiculous and unnecessary. Here you go. Oh, poor pig. Oh, chicken. Chimkins. Good dog. Good cow. Ah, freezing. Okay, so let's say I'm here, and I want to get over there. How the hell do I do that? Not like that. Yeah, so very sporting. Is this still a rifle? For someone? Into King's Chapel. Just lying on the ground, naked in the snow. You were doing something interesting. Crap, so it was much closer. Let's grab a horse. Support the community! St. Mary's will be raising funds to repair storm damage to the steeple. God bless us all, dutiful citizens. 
Nothing. Anyone? I'll take you. Even though he might belong to someone else. It's raining women. Hallelujah, it's raining women. Or something. Look, a floating pile of manure or something. Say so. Okay. It's the neck. Hang on a second. Let me figure out what's going on here. I'm not sure. Hey, box. Okay, let's do the stupid thing again. for achievements this time. Come here, you stupid ass. traveling to the frontier. Will the frontier make more sense for assassins than Boston? Oh hi. Lexington. Okay, I'm cutting through. Old Belfry. 
Originally, Lexington's meeting hall didn't have a steeple or for a bell, so a separate belfry was built to summon the people to church, services, funerals, fires, and of course, to put these soldiers trooping into town to rape Patriot weapon caches. The belfry originally stood on a hill near the town, but was moved to this location in 1768, possibly because nobody found it fun to, be, to climb a big hill just to ring a bell, not unless they were a bit simple. Meeting in the outhouse. Here. Unconvinced. Have you found her? Uh, she's made camp not too far from here. Excellent. Well, the sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this cold. I'm afraid I have some bad news, sir. Oh? Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I've tried to beg off to no avail. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming we gave him. Do as he asks. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. No simulation. Reasonable for the time, but no longer acceptable. We're too late. What? Fire's only just been snuffed. Snow recently disturbed. She's close. Great. We lost our eyes. Onyx. Tracks are fresh. It must be hers. Mm. Seems she took to higher ground. Out of the snow and into the trees. What you doing? Making a snow? Wait here. Wolf! Wolves! <laughs> oh, damn it. No! Wait! Come back! You don't you return to Braddock, wolves. Charles, before he grows suspicious. I can handle things from here. But, sir! But nothing! Go! Stop running! I only wish to talk! I am not your enemy! Please just hear me out! God's woman! Only let me speak! Enough with these games! Oh, 
Why are you killing the wolves? Poor wolves. You try right. my patience, woman. How do I get up there? Come on, climb. What? Are you touched in the head? Me, Haytham. I come in peace. I speak English. Why are you speaking so slow? <sighs> Sorry. What do you want? Well, your name, a one. I'm Godzi Zio. God pleased to meet you. God, God's day. Just call me Zio. Dio. Zio. <laughs> Zio. Zio. It's not difficult. Well, tell me why it is you here. Where did you get this? From an old friend. I've only seen such markings in one other place. Where? Well. well, it is forbidden for me to speak of it. I saved your people. Does this mean nothing to you? Look, I am not the enemy. Close to here, there is a hill. Meet me there, and we'll see if you speak the truth. Um, my amulet, my thingy. That town hosts soldiers who seek to drive my people from these lands. They're led by a man known as the Bulldog. I'm familiar with him. Edward Braddock. You know him? He is no friend of mine. Every day, more of my people are lost to men like him. Then I suggest we put a stop to it. Together. What do you propose? That we kill Edward Braddock. I like that idea. But first, we have to find him. How are you not cold? Hello. Okay. Let's try and do that again. Let's try and do that again. I don't trust you. I know. Yet you remain. That I might prove you wrong. It will not happen. Concord. This was the regulars that nation when they set out from Boston on the day of the battles of Lexington and Concord. Inside the town, the British found cannon, flour and salt, food, and the musket balls. They broke the cannon and threw the rest into the local mill pond. A bad idea, since the local residents have treated most of it later, undamaged. In their zeal, the regulars also accidentally set fire to the local meeting house, it happens, and then joined the bucket brigade to help out put it out. However, the local militia saw the smoke and thought the regulars had set fire to the whole town. The militia marched in, causing a battle with the regulars at the North Ridge, just outside of town. It was a comedy of errors with very little comedy. The battle at the North Bridge battle, the battle at the North Bridge battle was immortalized in Concord Hymn. Popular poem by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Emerson lived in Concord in the 1830s, which probably made him a bit biased. He refers to the fighting at the bridge as the shot heard around the world. A bit of an overstatement, since the first shots of the war had been fired at Lexington, hours before. Maybe he'd been napping, you know, what poets are like. So you say. So I know. Hang on. Yet, I remain. Pet the dog. Uh, fine. Let's go. It's 
Let's see what we're dealing with here. The right tavern. The raiding posts. Raiding posts were essentially general stores set up in the North American frontier. The clientele mainly explores and members of local indigenous nations would barter for various goods such as guns, axes and pots and pans. Payment was mostly in the form of furs which were shipped back to Europe. The fur trade at the time was extremely lucrative and one of the reasons that explorers were continually moving into the frontier. They were hoping to find more and better sources of pelts. There was a reason Davy Crockett only s ever seemed to have one hat. Many of the trading posts were privately owned, but they were used to push political agendas as well. For example, after the Revolutionary War ended, the British government used their trading post to encourage the indigenous people not to sign treaties with, with the United States. The United States government took over the colonial fur trade in the colonies in 1796, establishing something called the factory system. The idea was to regulate prices in order to stop exploitation of the indigenous peoples by private traders. Unfortunately, under the new system, indigenous leaders were forced to trade large amounts of land to get access to trading posts. Private exploitation had become government exploitation. Lucky that's the only time in history that's ever happened, since that obviously wasn't any better, the factory system was abolished in 1822. Printer's shop? Printing presses were originally brought to America to print religious text, but by the time of the Revolutionary War they were also used for things like newspapers, pamphlets, and broadsheets. Think of it as the colonial internet, about the same speed as dial-up. Unlike word of mouth, newspaper articles could spread news of events from colony to colony quickly and without any loss of information. But that doesn't mean it was unbiased. Far from it. Presses were commonly used to print propaganda. Every newspaper had its slant. Thank goodness that doesn't happen nowadays. Anyway, but what made the Boston Massacre such a turning point were reprints of Paul Revere's woodcut. It showed organiz organized British soldiers in full, Formation firing point blank at an innocent crowd, a shocking image which enraged the people and fueled their hatred of the British. Completely made up, of course, but what did that matter? The public is there to be manipulated. Actually, I bet you could use these places to print some propaganda of your own if the soldiers were, are getting too unfriendly. This is a reminder that you're a hero of the people might help. Let's go. Wait here. A Mohawkman is likely to raise suspicions if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. <laughs> I hope so. I really wonder who the actors are. Okay. You can't stand being quartered there. The endless crashing of the waves, the sting of the salt in my eyes, and the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The Bulldog's putting together another expedition. That's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart, too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. Positions. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before weeks end. You do make me Oi! Where are you going, Cully? What's a Cully? Me? No, the other cock robin. What's a cock robin? Well, I, uh, I was leaving. Oh? And now? Now you're annoying me. Well, now... I'm going to feed you your teeth. <laughs> and you were worried I was going to be the problem? Awesome.
I'm fine. Oh, it's nothing. Here. This should stop the bleeding. It should hurt like hell. That wasn't necessary. But thank you. I got punched on. once. Meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready. I'm ready now. <laughs> Glitching horses. I hold P, I stand. Uh -huh. Wait, 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 I need the horse. Hi. Execution is everything. Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Having second thoughts? Hardly. But I'll have to approach this carefully. Go on then. I'll keep watch from here. Yeah, I know. Do not kill any mm. girls. Okay. I can hide in that cart. And let's do that. Let's make sure I can actually hide. And it won't glitch out on me. Clear that goddamn Alka. Oh, 
What's in the wagon? I need a full inventory. As you wish. Uh, let's see. Two barrels of salt, 12 pounds of pork, 10 pounds of beef, 7 dozen eggs, 16 wheels of cheese. None of it French, don't worry. Five bottles of whiskey, a <laughs> couple dozen new uniforms, boots, and leather for patching, blankets, a cart feed for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. That's all there is. Nothing else in there. <laughs> Nothing at all. Nope. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Fire the level two. Enemies will investigate on sight. Okay. Get out. Get out. Get the hell out. Come on. Come on. Mm. Move it. Move it. Yeah, let's do smoke bombs. How there! Anyone home? Don't move. I'll find you. <laughs> okay, thank you. diplomatic solution was no solution at all that allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict one in which they now have the upper hand there's merit to those words as much as I hate to admit it still can't he see this is unwise it doesn't fit well with me either. we're far from home with our forces divided worse I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless it puts them at a risk I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plan I try, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. I don't know, somewhere weird. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. I wasn't trying to. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Wait, did I fail to not kill any girls yet?
No, okay. You don't see me. I'm just wearing black in the middle of a snowstorm. Oh, they can't climb that. Cannons are like to cause trouble. Okay, I walk through the curves. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Didn't kill him. Diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would open. <sighs> Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? Far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. 
I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Stop now. Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. <clears throat> I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. What is what? I can do this mission. <coughs> Primary destination. I want to get to that cannon. That guy's walking over there. These guys are back over there. Uh, they did. You come back here. Not worth the effort. Go away. Guy walking. Guy walking. Did you say death third? I'll piss on it, but get back. Is that in the tent? Come on, move it. No, no. Ow. Ready your weapons. And shoot each other. That walk. Mm. 
Bunny, bunny, bunny. What news? Braddock has left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush them here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike. You are now incognito. Didn't I have a horse? Bunny! 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 swing do you guys have a horse nah. can't even imagine how freezing the water is right now Come on, move it! That's okay. That's a horse. Eat something. Five months. In the cold, cold round. Here, here. Hard at work, I see. How did you... <laughs> it is time. We set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen. We Let ride. us away. We ride. Hickey, can you stand? First it was too cold. Now it's too goddamn hot. Welcome to Colorado. I saw Colorado. Smoke, I tell you. Uh, to say nothing of the mosquitoes. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? <laughs> Please. We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and on to the next. Where's your boy Lee gone off to? 
Oh, Returned to finish out his service under Braddock. I imagine the Bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Please to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. But I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Mm -hmm. Precisely. Unless you've underestimated our enemy. If I have, Charles will sense it first and make his escape. He's more clever than you think. When this is done, I'm taking a week in New York. It's high time I went and saw the sights. I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes. United in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. That's so. What would you have me do? Well, you'll help the others to prepare. Follow. They come. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means we need more land. The French understand this and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances, awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride, to offer them one last chance. The French will leave, or they will die. Now is the time to strike. Wait. To scatter the expedition is not enough. We must ensure that Braddock falls, or he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. Kill militia without taking an open conflict. Uh, okay. Before I do that, I'm going to stop, because... After 11, and I need to get some things done before I sleep. Thanks for watching. This is, game is buggy as hell, but I'm gonna finish it. Yes. See you next time. Tomorrow's D&D &D night. Stay good. Have fun.